Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I've been writing an email every day, sometimes multiple times per day for the last two and a half years. And one of the most common questions I'm asked is how do you come up with so many email ideas where you can write about something every single day? And the answer is I have email topics and formulas that I use that I recycle and reuse over and over again. So I'm not always coming up with a completely original type of email. I'm going through this a list of topics and a list of formulas and frameworks that I have, and I just reuse them over and over. And so what I wanna do in this quick video is show you how you can take some of these topics, and if you're struggling to come up with email ideas and struggling to come up with email topics, you can take these 30 topics and have emails for at least the next 30 days. And if you reuse these topics, you can actually have a lot more than 30 emails. Now, if you're new here, my name is Sean and on this channel, I teach you how to make money from writing online. So if you want more content around that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos just like this. So on my screen here, I'm going to cheat a bit. I'm gonna show you a Twitter thread that I wrote today and it's about 30 topics for your next 30 emails. So follow me on Twitter first. If you're not already, go to Sean Anthony Says on Twitter. You will find my profile. And if you hit the follow button, you're gonna see daily tweets that give you more content around email marketing, making money online, and one weekly thread where I go deeper into topics like this around email marketing, copywriting, and making money online. So in this thread, what I've done for you is I've outlined topics and hooks that you can write about for your emails for the next 30 days. So you can see here, day one, you would have the hero's journey. I give you a little blurb on what to write about and a framework you can use, some questions that you can use to write your email. Day two, secret sauce. What's your secret sauce? How did you discover it? What makes your sauce different from others? So I'm giving you the prompts of what to write your emails about. And it goes on for 30 days. But what I want you to realize here, as you go through this thread, I'm not gonna read through the whole thing. I'll link to it below so you can see it. But what I want you to realize is a lot of these emails, you can reuse it over and over again. So for example, this throw rocks at enemies, right? You're, you're not calling people out by name. You're calling out the bad or subpar things you see in your industry. How many bad or subpar things are in your industry? Probably more than one. So you can write a lot more emails throwing rocks at different enemies. Here's another one, bust an assumption. So people have all kinds of assumptions on what they need to do to achieve the result your product promises. For example, I need a ton of upfront capital to start. That's just one assumption. You can have a list of different assumptions. I can think of 50 different assumptions that my market might have around what they need to do to achieve the result that my product promises. So I can write a new email busting more and more assumptions here. Here's another one, answer a FAQ, a frequently asked question. And this is my one of my personal favorite email types to write because you can do this endlessly, right? How many times can you answer a new frequently asked question? You can just scroll through all the questions that you get from your, your audience and your list and your customers and subscribers, and you can answer those questions one by one. And you can also go to a public forum or a public group like a Facebook group or Quora or Reddit or Amazon reviews and just look at the questions people are asking and answer those questions if it has something to do with your product. So this is another one. I write at least one FAQ email a week, sometimes more, and I love it because it's easy and I can reuse it over and over again. Here is another one, a customer win. If you have customer reviews and case studies and testimonials, every single one of those can be turned into a email. So listen to that again, right? Every single customer win that you have can be an individual email. If you're working, let's say that you have a client and they're an e-commerce store and they have 5,000 plus five-star reviews. You have 5,000 potential emails that you can write. Now, what you wanna do with these customer win emails is pick out the best stories or pick out the best transformational stories that you can write about. But there are tons of them that you can use if you're working with a legit business who has reviews and customer results and testimonials and case studies. All you have to do to write these is right here, share the before, share the after, share what they did to go from before to after and what life will look like for them moving forward. I actually made a separate video on this. I'll link to it below. It's called the easiest email to write. And that's true. This is one of the easiest emails to write because the customer writes the email for you. Here's another one, debunk a myth. How many myths are there in your industry? So one that's common in mind is you need to close high ticket deals on the phone. So what I did was I wrote an, e uh, an email debunking that myth. I said, you can actually close 5K to 30K deals without the phone. That's exactly what we've done. And so I wrote an email about that and how that works. So debunking a myth, how many myths or lies are in your industry? Every single one of those can be an email. Pop culture, what just happened recently? We had the Will Smith slap. You can write an email about that. You can write multiple emails about that. 
So there's always these types of events happening in pop culture. There's TV shows and movies and things being talked about, right? Gossip, celebrity gossip and drama in the news. And you can tie each of those, each of those pop culture events to an email and to your product. So you'd have, you'd have to get a little creative and find out how to tie it back. But there's always a way where you can build a bridge from something that's in the public eye in pop culture back to your product. Here's another one, inspiring story. This is kind of similar to the customer win, but we're looking deeper for these inspiring stories, experiences that happen when you or your customers were using your product and it's, it inspires someone else to go out and buy it and get that same result. So that's another one you can use it over and over again. Let's see, story of the week. You can actually use all of these multiple times. I'm just taking a look at the ones that I use most commonly multiple times. Story of the week. So I do this one a lot, personal stories of some, uh, something that happened in your life or business. And so I have an email, a weekly newsletter called Friday Fire. And every week, every Friday in that email, I'm sharing a new story of the week, something that happened to me, something I'm working on. So this is another one that I'm using very regularly. A horror story. So this is one, I try to use this a little sparingly, maybe once a month or so. But what I do here is I'll, I'll find a horror story about someone who didn't use my product and share what happened. So what happened a few years ago, I used to sell health supplements and I used to sell nootropics, which are supplements for your brain. And there was a different, I'm not going to name it, a competitor supplement out there with, with pretty crappy ingredients. And I was looking, it was on Amazon and one of the customers complained, they left a one star review and said that they had diarrhea for a month. So I could write an email about that. Hey, so-and-so took this, this other product that had crappy, low quality ingredients and they had diarrhea for a month. They're running to the bathroom at, at their nine to five, trying to make it to the bathroom to poop, before they poop their pants because they took this crappy supplement with crappy ingredients. So that is an example of a horror story. You can use these whenever you find new horror stories from competitor products or things that you hear in your industry. Here is a, another one. So answer another FAQ. I listed it right here. This is something I use over and over again. Shady practices in your industry. How many things are happening in your industry that are shady? So per, the, way, the way your competitors promote products, maybe they use poor quality materials, like I just said, or use false claims. What are things that are happening, shady things that are happening in your industry? You can call those things out and write an email about it. Let's see, another one here is current events. There is always something going on in the world that you can tie back to your product. So C19, I don't want to say it in case YouTube starts to flag me, but I wrote a lot of really high selling emails when C19 was going on because I used that as my hook and it was on people's minds, right? It was current events. So more recently, the Ukraine and Russia thing's been happening. The Will Smith thing has been happening. There's all types of things happening in the world at any time. So one thing you can do is I'm on Twitter right now. If I just go to the right here, it says what's happening. I can go to show more. And you can see all the things that are being talked about right now in the public eye. So this is a great way to see what's going on that I can write an email about, that I can t tie back to my email and my product. And what you're doing with that is you're taking the attention from something like this and you're tying it back to your product. So that's another one that you can use pretty often. I should probably use that one a little more. Let's see, share a useful resource. So this could be your resource, a piece of content from yourself or something that you found useful from somebody else. I'd recommend that you keep it in-house so you have, if you have a piece of content of your own, share that. Let's see, number one mistake. So this is the number one mistake, but how many mistakes have you made to get to where you are? You can write many, many emails about that. Behind the scenes, I do this a lot. I tease new things that I'm working on. I tell people about it before it's released just to gauge the interest and get them excited and build anticipation. So that's another one. Five ways your life will be better once they buy your product. You can do this many times, right? All these different ways that your, your product's gonna imp improve someone's life, you can talk about that in an email. And yet another FAQ, if you can't tell, I love that email. And bust a personal objection. There's so many different objections that people have before buying. So you can write an email busting it. Now what I do here is I bust a personal objection, meaning an objection that somebody has about themselves and why they can't get the result. So an example is I can't be a copywriter because I wasn't a good writer growing up. And so I might write an email saying, great, that's actually a good thing because you don't have any bad habits to break. So I'm taking that personal objection and I'm actually turning it into an advantage. And this is an extremely powerful email because a lot of the times they might believe in your claim they might believe in your product, but they don't believe they can do it because of some kind of limitation in themselves. And this 
busting a personal objection can get them to push them over the line, actually get them to buy. Share a piece of content. So I do this every Monday and Wednesday when I have a new YouTube video is I write an email sending people the video and linking to it so they can watch it. So YouTube video, thread, blog article, free report, whenever you have a piece of content, you can send it to your email list and link them to that content so that they get to consume it. Let's see, where is another one that we can use? Here's another customer win. And number 30, special offer. So this is giving a discount, special bonus, giving them your best offer and telling them to buy now. So it's more like a straight pitch email. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna link to this thread below this video. I want you to read this and at least write down all these different 30 topics. What I also want you to do is go through this with the mindset of, I can reuse these email types more than once, more than twice. I've used some of these, like the share a piece of content email, more than a hundred times. The FAQ email, more than a hundred times. The customer win email, I've used this 50 plus times at least. And so each of these emails, you can use over and over again. Okay, so I'm gonna link to it below, bookmark this, go through it, use it to come up with your next at least 30 topics for your next 30 emails. And also, if you wanna see my emails live in action and see how I take each of these topics and use them, go to seananthony.co. You can opt in there for my free 1K a day offer buffet course. And you're also gonna see each of my daily emails and you can learn and study from them. So I hope this was helpful. This is for you if you're struggling to come up with email ideas. This is 30 topics for your next 30 emails and many, many more than that if you actually use it and recycle it like I just said. So hopefully this was helpful. Give it a like and let me know in the comments if it was and I'll see you in the next video.